guys welcome back to my channel hello if you are new so it is time to do the October budget setup um, first of all I just want to kind of point out that yes there was no video last week I apologize um, I was spending time with my family I was really enjoying the time with my family and to be honest I just didn't really feel like taking the time out to make the video um, and just setting aside that time I just really wanted to enjoy the time that I had with them. So that being said, we are in going into October. There are five weeks in October or five Fridays in October, which means five paychecks. That's amazing for me. I love five paycheck months. It really just, it just means more debt can be paid off or in this case, something a little different, um, which I can kind of go into in the video. But just so you guys know, there is a method to my madness. Basically what's happening is my goal is to do $1,000 every single month to my car and get that knocked down. Um, so I would be around 5,000 um, at the end of the year that's my goal however anything extra is not going towards debt and is instead going to an emergency fund I have some stuff going on in life right now and I have just decided anything above that thousand dollars to set aside to grow the emergency fund grow I'm like I said the housing maintenance needs to be grown there's some things that need to be saved up so a thousand dollars is my goal every month towards the car and anything extra is going towards emergency fund and anything like that um, just because of what's going on in life right now now um, let's go ahead and get into the video I'm really excited for October I'm gonna be honest um, October is not my favorite month, but it is my favorite budget month this year so far. So we'll see what's going on. So here it is, you guys, the October budget. As I said, five weeks making 60130. That means that's just over $3,000. So $3,006.50. Definitely not a bad income. For gifts, we have $50 going towards gifts. We are preparing for Christmas. If you guys have not started, if you are not someone that saves up throughout the entire year for Christmas, this is the time. If you haven't even started, this is the month to start saving for Christmas. Figure out what you would like to spend, who is getting gifts this year, depending on where you are in the baby steps, what your goals are. This is the time to think about what is going on, who you're giving gifts to, budget it out and split it up and decide how much you need to save per month to meet the amount that you're wanting to spend for Christmas. Um, I personally don't buy a lot of gifts. I do my immediate family and that is it. The rest, my parents still kind of handle. Um, I'm very lucky in that way. I do help pick out gifts, but... Um, so I'm planning on doing $50 up until December. I should have over $200 by then. So that will be kind of the goal that I'm shooting for is around $200, $250. That should cover my family. Church, we have $20. As you guys can see, I still haven't done anything with this. What I originally was going to do, um, I have decided against at this exact moment uh, due to some things that occurred. And I just really want to reconsider what I'm doing with this money. Please note that it is not going to be blown on something uh, non charitable. Um, that's not what this is. I'm just building it up because I think I want to do a few different things with it um, kind of all at once. My grandparents Netflix has been paid for the entire year so we have the income coming in. Now we just need to bring it out there. Other, um, as you guys know um, or if you're new maybe you don't know, I um, buy groceries and get gas and do other things to anything my grandparents need as they uh, have compromised immune systems. They cannot leave their house right now and do anything other than really drive around. So I do their errands for them. So the other is kind of like an in and out for me. So I spend, so anything I spend, I keep track of it and then they pay me back. Um, they pay with cash and so um, they don't give me exact change. So right now they have $11.58 that they have overpaid on that it's just kind of built up. Um, and 
that's kind of the way it's working right now and I'm just leaving it in there for if they don't have change or don't have exact change I'll just take it off the $11 um, rent rent we have two rents going out as normal water $40 my natural gas is $20.59 my electricity is starting to go down for the fall at $110.18 my internet is $71.49. Household maintenance, we have $300 going to household maintenance because I only had $45.34 left over. Um, this will bring it back up and we can build it back up and start working on that. You will see the household maintenance start going up for various reasons of some things that I needed to get done. Lawn care, I budgeted $0 because we are getting into fall. My yard doesn't really need mowed right now. I might have to move some money in here, but I really don't think I'm going to have to. Pet care, $50. Um, things have kind of calmed down a little bit in my area, so my dog should be able to get her hair cut and her nail trimmed and everything like that. And then I also, she has been chewing on stuff lately since we kind of both have been more trapped in the house so I am going to also go online in the month of October and get her a uh, bone or something that she can lay down and chew on um, because she has one currently and it is currently really gross. So now we can get into transportation. $200 for gas. I really don't think I'm going to need the full $200. Um, as you guys know, last month I went down to $150. And I was really happy with that $150. Um, but I'm bringing it back up to $200 because I believe... October is going to be a big travel month for me. Um, so because of that, I wanted to just be on the safe side and put the $200 in. Maintenance, $11. That is for my car wash. Um, and then the rest of the maintenance fund is sitting there for the purpose of maintenance. So if I need tire rotation, oil changes, anything like that, that is what is that money is sitting in there for. Groceries, we are back to $50. There's $5.61 left from September. So that is going on. I am going to start spending the full $50 or close to it every month as I am trying to build up a stockpile of certain things and um, really just try to be prepared for winter and um, sales and anything going on. So when people start going crazy again, which I've already started to see um, now that it is getting a little bit cooler, um, I do not have to rush out to the grocery store or be concerned about my stuff not being there that I need. Um, so every time I go to the grocery store, I'm just picking up a couple extra of things and that's kind of how it's working. I have a nice little stockpile of stuff Restaurant, $75. My goal is to spend no more than $50 a month, but I have set aside $75 for the purpose of, again, traveling. I'm not sure how much eating I will be doing out. Um, so I'm budgeting $75, but my goal is to stay under $50. Lifestyle, my phone bill is there. Uh, medical, so you'll see that this is $74. Um, this because it's a fund and I haven't put it in my budget for September yet that I've paid that. Um, I actually am writing the check and sending it out today. So it will be $37.47. Medical, $50. Um, I'm building this up. I am doing regular chiropractic appointments once a month. And I am also, um, I had my dentist appointment and I have a few other just kind of routine annual uh, appointments this month. And in October. I'm currently recording this in September. So that is um, useful there. Clothing, I'm not putting anything toward clothing this month, but I have $225.05 sitting in there. Um, jeans and pants are going to be my focus. I did buy shirts, but I need to get some new pants. Hair and Beauty, $0. Spotify, Hulu, Netflix, Amazon Prime is this month. Um, for those of you that don't know, I split it with my parents. Um, so I use more of the video and music aspect of it and they do the shipping aspect. So we split it down the middle and Acorns is $1. Insurance, nothing is due on insurance. Car insurance will be coming in December though. Um, 
if I did that right, I am trying to figure this out because my insurance dates have changed since I got the newer car. Um, business startup costs nothing. Savings. So this is where you guys will see the difference. Um, in my emergency fund, I'm planning on putting 50164 in my emergency fund for October. I am trying to build up my emergency fund um, for a few different reasons, um, but I just want to have that emergency fund built up. But at the same time, I am paying off my Jeep. My goal is to put $1,000 every single month towards this car. Um, this, by the way, the total right here does not include my payment for September. So there's a $1,000 payment in September that will be coming off of this. So this number will be $8,608.88. And after that, it will be $7,608.88. Like I said, my goal is to do $1,000 every single month. And anything extra will be going towards my emergency fund. Um, I have a few reasons for that. I'm not going to get into them, but I'm trying to build my emergency fund, my house, uh, my housing fund, and just kind of build some funds and have a little bit of padding for certain things um, just due to the times and due to some situations in my life, which is just Great. So that's pretty much it. Um, my gift cards are just sitting there. Um, I definitely am probably going to be getting into my contacts rebate um, card, which is a $200. Basically, it's a gift card. It's like kind of like you use like a debit card, um, but it's got $200 on it preloaded for my rebate for my contacts. So that'll probably be going towards a few things. Best Buy, I have $25 left. This says $1.73. There's actually $25. Um, and I'm going to start spending some of these. Um, or I'm sorry, not Best Buy. Big Lots had $25 left. And I'm planning on spending that on a few things food storage-wise um, and a couple other things. So there you guys go. That is my October budget setup. It has been a crazy year. Um, and so October being a really good looking budget just makes me really happy that I'm able to put something in the emergency fund and pay $1,000 to my car. That's just insane to me and it makes me really happy. Um, like I said, we are uh, really trying to make more money and cut back on expenses and really just getting everything taken care of. So, um, Things that are going to be happening behind the scenes um, that I probably won't show is I have an entire bedroom full of stuff that I've gone through that's furniture and clothes and things that I just don't want anymore. The clothing, you guys saw that in my declutter video, but I'm ready to get rid of it. I'm going to put the clothes on Poshmark. I'm going to put the stuff on Facebook Marketplace and maybe a few other places. My parents are hoping to have a garage sale soon, so everything else will go in that. And I'm just going to try and make as much money as possible to put towards this emergency fund um, and the other funds that I have going on. And then I am going to also... I mean, just sell, 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 and then I'm going to be doing some extra jobs for my parents and really anyone else who uh, has something that I would do well with. Um, I'm going to try and make some extra money. So you guys will be seeing that. And then expenses. My expenses, I'm really going to try and lower um, my eating out budget, although it's staying at $75. Uh, my goal is to really keep that under $50 still. Um, and then just some other things, I really want to keep the cost low so at the end of the month I can move everything towards the other funds that I need to be saving. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next week for the final September budget. Things in September got a little crazy um, with both expenses and income. Um, I can think of one big expense and I can think of one big income uh, that you guys don't know about. So um, make sure to check out that video next week and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.